we're getting close to the holidays, be sure to check out the merch site linked down in the description below. Get yourself one of those awesome hoodies. I know you want one. So we are back today in our wizarding world and well, I have plans to get into a new storage mod. Um, and this is going to allow us to hopefully have some sort of compactness in our storage net storage system. Um, and I also plan on building some more in here and uh, giving ourselves a place for our storage. Now, the storage mod that I want to touch on today and get into to allow us to adventure more and have more places to put our things, well, it is sophisticated storage. Um, and it looks very neat, but there's a few things that we are going to have to get into before we can actually move forward. And as you can see, it's nether quartz, which means today we're going to the nether. I mean, we're just at least going to tap into the nether just for quartz. Now, thankfully, there's a lava pool literally right underneath my base. And, uh, well, let's go and get started with that. Now, the interesting part about ours is I can actually make a spell that breaks things a little bit easier. So let's do a new spell. We'll do touch and then we'll do break, but we'll amplify it. Now, we're going to have to amplify it until we can break obsidian. And all we have to do is at least get to the first tier. And as you can see, we can break obsidian quite easy. That's why this mod is just insanely powerful. Now, there is another modifier that we are going to need before we head into the portal. Now, that new modifier or glyph is going to be item pickup. Let's go ahead and select that, drop two hoppers in there. And this is a fantastic thing because this is going to allow us to set a range spell and uh, as that range spell hits the block and breaks it, it puts the item right into our inventory. How powerful is that? So let's go ahead and build this spell. I'm gonna still use this one, except we are going to change this up and we are gonna make this a projectile break and then collect item. Cause we really don't need too much um, as far as, uh, as this range collection goes. I'm not even gonna really name it. Doesn't really need a name because it's gonna be something that we just quickly select that is another one of our break types. Now, all I can do is hope for a good portal. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and pop in here, grab a few quartz, because that's all I really need, and then hope for the best out. Let's go. And here we are. And we already have bad things spawning around us, it sounds like. And of course, it puts us in such a weird, weird position. But right here is actually some of the stuff we need. And notice when I click it, it just breaks it. And that is exactly what I want. Thankfully, we do have quartz laying all around. And I can collect it just like that. Perfect. I don't even have to really go anywhere. I can just sort of pop in and grab as much quartz as I'm going to need and avoiding that guy right there, which was a boss that just spawned in from Apotheosis. That was that really loud sound. But yes, I want to grab a bit of this. So now that I'm back, we can actually get started now that I have a little bit of quartz. It's like the perfect amount. So we can get started with this mod. Now, the reason I needed quartz was so that way I can make some comparators. Now I do have a little bit of stone, I have some sticks, and I do have some redstone, but as you can see, my inventory spaces are starting to get a little bit crowded here. Um, so I am going to need a few of these things. Now, the thing I definitely want is a storage link and a storage controller. Now this mod I am very new with, so I don't really know too much about it other than just my base information off of what I've just read from the descriptions here. So bear with me if I'm wrong on some things, um, but, I think first things first, I definitely just need to craft a storage. Uh, I, I technically don't need a storage controller because you can do one barrel as a storage, but I want to have like, I want to go ahead and get a network started if that makes any sense. Um, and I think this is going to be one of the easiest ways to do that. Does this specifically have to be a barrel? It can be a chest, but maybe it just needs to be a Minecraft chest. Oh no, it has to be a sophisticated chest. Oh, so a sophisticated chest looks like it is just a torch in the middle surrounded by a chest. Interesting. So when we place this down, ah, it's like a sophisticated backpack. It has settings. Very cool. So it has some settings, which is pretty awesome, but it is still a regular chest, right? 
So let's go ahead and craft this. This is the storage controller. And then we need storage links. So these are going to link, as you can see right here, these are gonna link up. Now we can get three if we make a storage controller. We can go ahead and get three of these, or we can get one by using a redstone repeater. Uh, we can probably just do this. I'll go ahead and make more of these. Now, thankfully we went on that adventure last episode and was able to get an ender pearl because this is going to allow me to get those storage links. So I'm assuming that this right here doesn't really do anything on its own um, and basically allows us to deposit and pipe items to and from connected multi-blocks of storages. So how do we go about accessing potentially all of our storages through the storage link? So you know what? I think I'm going about this the wrong way. I think that this basically is just a chest mod uh, similar to like iron chests, but it's done with sophisticated, um, but there is a way to connect them like storage drawers. So I was thinking there is an interface here, but there's not. But I think there is a way that we can definitely take a regular chest and upgrade it through the tiers and still use it as, as such. So I just got this from the quest and this chest, as you can see, has an upgrade. Um, we need to take this chest and we need to upgrade it to the next tier, which is like iron, right? So let's go ahead and take this and we will wrap it with some iron. I know I have some iron laying around here somewhere. And inside this, this chest is going to get a little bit larger. So at the moment, now it's got even more storage space. And it's just gonna get larger and larger as we continue to go. Um, let's see, I have six gold, don't have much more. But, as you can see, it has that uh, that upgrade. And I was looking at the crafting upgrade, I think that would be a, probably a good one for this. So that way we can craft items directly out of here. So now that we have the upgrade in, I mean, we should be able to just go over here and uh, now that we have some logs, we can craft the items directly out. Let's try, let's say we only have logs in here and I need to craft some logs. So this is the log to that. And I can click everything there and look, we can now craft out of this. So this can get bigger. This is only in, uh, in iron at this point. I wanna do a little bit more mining, get some gold, and also hopefully find some more diamonds. We should be golden very soon. As soon as we have enough diamonds to make a diamond chest. This is gonna be pretty awesome. I'm literally trying to mine here, leave me alone. This creeper looks just like Dripstone. Who thought you were a good idea? Oh no. Oh, that scared me so much. So let's upgrade this bad boy. I'm kind of hoping I can get like everything in a single chest. Now I'm sure the netherite version is going to be really, really nice. I, we're not going to have netherite for a little bit unless we find one inside of some loot. That would be really, really nice. So I have the gold now, everything I need to upgrade this chest. Thankfully, we actually get two of these because we do get an upgrade as well. And then finally, the diamond one. And I'm almost positive this diamond is going to be some significant storage. Yeah, let's check this. Woo! That is basically all the chests that we have inside of one chest. And we get three upgrade slots, which is great because we can make stack upgrades. That means it can hold more than one stack of item per slot. And uh, I think that's going to be worth it once we have more iron. It looks like the base upgrade, which actually will hold three, really only requires an upgrade base. So we could probably make that. So with the tier one stack upgrade inside there, um, yeah, this should be really nice. Let's also put our crafting upgrade in there so we can craft out of it. And now let's take a look at all of this deep slate, right? This deep cobble. Look at that. It holds two stacks now of each of those items. That is fantastic. We should be able to fit just about everything we have inside this chest at the moment. So now with this thing filled up, let's go ahead and make some packing tape. And we can click that, allowing us to be able to break this, and it actually contains its items. So I can now move this because currently where all of this stuff is at is where I want to build, well, sort of a castle-esque kind of thing going up here. Now to be able to build what I'm kind of wanting to build, well, I had to make a couple of regular picks so that way I can vein mine to get my materials because I'm going to need a little bit of cobblestone. I'm going to need um, some wood. 
which is going to be definitely helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and mine out pretty good, pretty good swath of material here. Got tons of cobblestone, okay. This should be enough uh, to be able to build the, the little thing that I want to build. I'm gonna need a little bit of this smelted up, and uh, well, then I'm gonna go grab a little bit of wood. Now, thankfully, there is this fantastic mod called Chisel, so I can actually toss this stuff in here and I can make mossy variants, as you can see, all of these different mossy variants, or I can make this smooth sort of texture, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna kind of blend a couple of these together. Now, I really like this texture right here, and you can also click right here, like once you have this selected, you can actually make this connected. So you can see it connected and unconnected. I'm gonna go with an unconnected texture for these smoothish bricks that are gonna go uh, every now and then. I'm gonna put some of these crosses in here. I'm gonna use regular and also use some mossy in this build. I'm also gonna be utilizing another mod to build that is really nice early on, and that is from Quark. Um, so Quark has a chisel or a trowel that is just a, a fantastic tool, and I believe it is unbreakable. So whatever items you have in your hotbar, for example, if I have all of these three items or four items in my hotbar. When you place them, it gets placed randomly. Yeah, how cool is that? So right now I'm sort of fluffing out the shape, if you can call it that. Um, so we have two out here. Let's see, let's just in my head, that way it makes it a little bit easier. We'll actually build this out. Um, we'll go two this way, and then I'm just going three, like this, and then two, like this, one, and then two like this, and we should end up with roughly the same shape. Um, so I have one, two, one, and then one, two, one, two, three. I think we sort of, yeah, we, we end up with the right shape. I might've messed up a little bit right here, but yeah, that's what it's all about. So one, two, and this is gonna go underneath, and you can see we end up back in the same spot right here. So yes, I am building out a sort of castle platform here. It's going to be circular for right now. The base of it is circular anyways. And look, I mean, you can use all of these basic materials that you get early on. Doesn't have to be anything crazy and is, is really easy to build. Now, if you have problems with building circular, sh circular shapes in Minecraft, there are plenty of guides online. I definitely recommend checking those out. But, you know, I, I tend to try and build your circles out a little bit bigger than you actually expect because the size on the inside is usually gonna be smaller than what you what you were originally intending. But I want this to sort of be the intro entrance into another little platform here so we have more room to get into some more mods. Oh, I tell you what, it is really nice to have things nice and stored away. But we need a way to interact with these chests and give ourselves a uh, uh, just a way to interact. Like we need an interface. So to be able to interact with these chests, I'm hoping that we can use that block that we made earlier that we allows us to link these chests together. And I hope we can access that with integrated dynamics because that is going to be what we start right now. So as I was traveling uh, yesterday, I was able to find this tree right here. This is an integrated dynamics tree. Now, that word may scare you. The name of this mod may horrify you, but I can promise you that it is going to be incredibly easy to get into this mod. So this right here has some beautiful looking wood. Uh, just all, all together, this mod is fantastic. It is a great automation mod, but it is going to give us a screen that is gonna allow us to access items out of our inventories. Um, and that way we don't have to open chests all the time. And it's actually not that hard to do. So to get into the integrated dynamics mod, we need to make a couple of fun things. One is a squeezer. Um, I'm gonna need a few sticks. Can I actually craft it in here? It might let me. Yes, so there's the squeezer. And then we need a dry and basin. Thankfully, I have some iron cooked up here, but luckily this doesn't really need any iron. The main thing we're gonna need is redstone sticks and the uh, crystalline mineral that uh, we actually get from these trees, just from harvesting the trees. So yes, um, this is a very simple way to get started. I think it's honestly one of the easiest 
other than getting into refined storage, which is also quite simple. So now that we have the drying basin, we just need to put these two blocks together. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, craft myself a pressure plate because it's just super fun to use this. Um, and then right in the middle, we can go ahead and set this up. Now, this has a channel, as you can see right there. I'm just going to place this next to it uh, in line with that channel. And then I can put a log in here and then it's time to jump. Yes, this is going to fill this up with the crystalline form. First, going to fill up with liquid and then that liquid is going to turn into a solid. It just takes a moment. And there we go. We have a block and we can turn this into the crystal form. Um, and this is what's used to make the cables. It's used to make the interfaces that we connect to the chest and it's used to make the storage terminal. By the way, I did go and just uh, grab some glowstone dust real quick. Um, but other than that, it's very simple. Now these variable output cards, they do require a piston and the variable cards just require paper and you get 24 of them. Now to reset this thing, that's where that pressure plate comes into play. Uh, so we place this here, step on it, and this just makes a nice little system to be able to get back and forth and make a bit of that crystal. Now, you may be freaking out by the word variable. Like, variable in this, yes, it is used, but not to make this system. Um, so, yeah, really, this isn't advanced at all. So don't be scared of this mod. It's, it's a fantastic mod. Now, one of the items that may be a little more confusing is going to be the item that it's asking for here, the mineral glass, which is a really, really pretty looking block. But all you gotta do is just place some glass in that drying basin and uh, squish it down. And once you get it all nice and squished up, it's gonna kind of solidify or I guess harden and it's going to harden onto that glass. Yes, infuse itself into the glass. That's what we need to do. <laughs> and there we go. So we have the glass of illumination. Very nice. I don't know if this actually puts off a glowing effect. I have no idea, but we should have just about everything we need. As you can see, all I've got to do is make some of these static light panels. I think I need two of them and I already have everything else ready to go. So I'll go ahead and get the storage terminal made and just to show you how simple this is. And, and by the way, you, you probably want to also make the integrated dynamics uh, wrench because it's a little hard to break these uh, pipes by hand. So you definitely want to make this wrench. But just to show you, I can access every item in here just by placing this single item interface on this placing a cable, right? And then placing the terminal on here. And when I open this up, if I give it a moment, it should be able to see all the stuff inside this chest. At least it's supposed to anyways. Yeah, there we go. So here's all the items. Very weird paneling going on right now, but this is the crafting grid. And yeah, it should, yeah, we should be able to craft anything that's inside this. Now, to extend this, right, as here's all the items and we can search now um, to extend this. All we have to do is just run cables and attach any inventory that we want to add to this. We just have to add an interface and then add some cabling and just hook it into the terminal. We put the terminal wherever we want. It's fantastic. Now to get back into the sophisticated storage mod, let's see if we can't potentially link these. So if I have this storage controller block here, and I have a storage link on here and on here. And I shift right click this block and I link that and then I link this to this block. Can I then read its inventory with this? This is where things get really interesting. Let's see. If we place this on here, place that. I can access all of this. So we can have chests sprawled out with very minimal cables and be able to access all of our chests that are connected via our storage controller. This is where this mod shines and this is where everything comes together and is glorious. By the way, if this grid looks kind of weird to you, you can start changing the grid size and you can make it small, large, and just really customize it to your liking. I really like it like this. And yeah, this makes it a lot easier to see. Now you're not gonna see a lot of the items here, but this is mainly for crafting. If you wanna see your items, well, they're, they're all here. Now, sometimes you just go through a whole bunch of stuff and of course you figure out there's a possible bug. And well, that happens from time to time in mod packs, especially as they're in development like this one. And one unfortunate bug with this particular setup is it's not recognizing 
anything to craft. Now, it doesn't mean that it's not working. So this right here is, of course, I mean, in the future, this might work. This should work in the future. This is how it's intended to function. But unfortunately, with this being, a, you know, an early 119 mod pack, for some reason, this is a potential bug. So when you get bugs, the best thing to do is to report them. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the mod packs curse forge page. And there is usually a, uh, a section there that says issues. You click that button. And that button will usually take you to the mod packs Git, where uh, you can just make a simple report uh, there. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. So good news, I can still use this thankfully, even though it does show missing items and it does show up red, I can still click it and it does allow for the items to go into it. Um, now, I want to re reiterate here that if you do experience bugs, it is best to report them. That is like really, really good practice because if a bug persists, um, it'll never, and nobody knows, it'll never get fixed, right? And so it'll end up hitting another user at some point. So it's always a good idea to report. But I do want to test this out. Let's just make sure we have the same cobblestone inside here. And then we'll say furnace, click it. And yes, it does pull the items in. Thankfully, that, that works because, whew, I thought I just put all this work in for nothing. Oh, and, and also it, it does work connected to the storage controller. So that, that also wasn't the issue either. This is perfect. Huh. I'm back to being happy again. <laughs> so for the rest of the day, now that I have some more storage and everything set up, I want to head back to the tower over here because there was a little bit of loot that I actually missed last time. Also, is this, this is an old evil craft building. What? Now I know if I can get up here, there should be like a loot chest potentially in here. Is there no loot chest? Environmental accumulator. Oh, I think sometimes there might be able to be a chest. I don't know. Either way, that's really cool. I really want to get into evil craft and understand it more. I, it's been a long time, been a long time since I've messed with that. All right, let's head. Right up here, I think I can land. Ooh, is that Prismarine? That's Prismarine. I think there's some more loot, like right up here. Yes, it is right there. Oh, also on that spawner as well. I gotta be quick. Oh man, this is a perfect way to gather iron. Oh, I love this. Look at those ender pearls. Okay. So if I can get back up here, I can potentially. Fire this, breaking that spawner. There we go. Also puts the broken spawner in my inventory. Can I do this to the chests as well? Like it will not. So breaking the chest. So we still have to loot manually this way. I mean, you can break a chest normally with a pick, but you can't do it through here. 10 diamonds. What? And we also got a mine colony scroll. Mine colonies is something I'm still like, eh, I don't know if I 100% want to do it. It is weird to do for YouTube. Yeah, I can tell you that. It's it's a very grindy, wait for things to happen kind of mod. But uh, yeah, it is a really cool mod though. I will admit that. I can't believe we just got all of those diamonds. This is going to make getting an upgrade for my chest even better. Oh my goodness. So up top, at the very top of these, are more spawners. Um, so how am I gonna go about doing that? I think if I'm quick enough, I might be able to jump, let this regenerate. No, I'm not gonna be able to get up there that easily. I need to be a bit higher. All right, here goes this pro gamer move. And switch to the shoot mode, break, S hurry and switch. So I keep the bounce. Whoo! Oh man, that, that's rough. Now they did still spawn, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see if we can do the same thing up on this one. Put it in break mode. Okay, this one's already broken actually. Oh, that's awesome. Whew. 
That's so scary because I have to switch. I wonder if I can assign these specifically to a key. That would make things so much easier if that was the case. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. All right, these guys are burning. Let's pop in here real quick. They're going to shoot me with some arrows. Quick loot! And out of here! We're out! I am out of this area. Oh, I think that's all of the major loot from this, uh, this building. Oh, that's scary. Actually, I never looted this one. Oh my gosh. I think that's all of the loot. So this is perfect. Let's go ahead and upgrade this, this, and this. So now we have tons more storage. Now, one little problem that you might notice when you're putting items away, you're going to notice they sometimes go in the crafting grid, even if you're here. It is kind of a pain that it goes in there, but there's really not a good way to prevent it. So just when it does go in there, just hit the clear crafting storage. and It'll make, be sure to dump the items back into your storage. You know, I did say this was an early game sort of storage method. It's it's definitely not perfect and it's it's definitely not a long term solution. Well, guys, with that, I think it's time to call it a day. Ah, I know, sad. But with that, I want to give a huge shout out to the supporter of today's video, and that's going to go to Svinby. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on Discord, becoming the Discord Premium Member. And if you're interested in joining our Discord and potentially becoming a Premium Member, all you have to do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect, and you can join me there. And of course, guys, I would love if you would click that subscribe button. It really, really does go a long ways. We are getting very, very close very close to 550,000 subscribers, so I'd really, really appreciate that. Push us ever closer to that epic 1 million, you know? We'll get there eventually. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Give me some feedback down in the comments below, as I absolutely love to hear from you guys. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. I, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.